thought I better do a uh, rooftop vegetable garden and pollinator garden update before the next monsoon hits. Anyway, we are at um, Friday, July 28th or 29th of something like that. Um, so what we're going to look at today is not peak uh, pollinator bloom just quite yet, but because um, there's a lot more coming as you'll see. So we're starting off here at Blanket Flower, my ginormous patch of coleus. This is a hyssop that survived from last year with the um, margarita daisies in the background. Tall blue aster, which will be blooming in a month. Yes, lettuce. Vegetables are lettuce, leaf lettuce. First harvest of potatoes, and they're supposed to look like that because we're going to harvest them next week. Three seedings of carrots, second planting of potatoes. And as August approaches, August 24th is Ukraine Independence Day, so we'll certainly be making note of that. More hyssop, tall stiff goldenrod which is almost ready to bloom. Monarda and hyssop. The lavender for whatever reason this year is going really late blooming but I'm okay with that because um, it's always good to have some August and September blooms uh, which this other goldenrod will also provide right here. And this cinquefoil uh, bloomed after the columbine in this pot and it just sort of showed up here on its own and we're gonna have lots of milkweed I'm anxious to see if we can get a monarch to uh, lay some eggs so the dill and the thyme we'll get a second bloom of thyme soon and I've been planting mustard seeds every three weeks or so and it's quite a favorite with it's covered by the virgin creeper anyway um, there's plenty to keep me my sore hands and the pollinators happy so far this summer